Hey guys and welcome to episode 69 of my AFL Evolution Beer Pro Career Mode Series and once again, for the second year in a row, we're playing the Grand Final. This time against the Colton Blues. It's a windy day at the MCG. I've made a few changes to the team lineup to make it somewhat fair as we are both 82 overall. So it's an even contest now. Before, throughout the whole season, we were like 87 rated. That's just ridiculous. Little Booth Ebley and Brooke in the middle of the ground. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the grand final. The lineup is very, very young today as the Swans are looking to the future. And what a better way than to do it in the grand final. Play the young boys, get them the experience. Booth Ellie is on, Paddy Cripps in the middle of the ground, the captain, Greg Brook, out on the wing. Should be a beautiful game. They got a Lira Lear. Well. Wow. <clears throat> Carlton could give us some trouble here, like, honestly, they could. Our defence is very weak. And here we go. Come on, Booth Ellie, you gotta lead the young boys today, mate. You have to lead them. Who's that tan bloke? Is that Mills? I think, I'm pretty sure it is Mills. Like, Mills looks like an absolute dud in the game. Greg Brook, gonna have a quick look at you. Yep, you look absolutely beautiful, mate. Love you. Have a quick look at Colton Blue's lineup today. They look pretty damn ready. A leer, a leer. He wants his redemption, mate. He wants to be the one to take on the game and win it for them. Dennis Armfield, nice to see you, mate. It's going to be a good game. We've got Darcy Cameron in the middle of the, in the ruck. So we're not going to be winning anything with Cruiser in the middle. So that's another disadvantage for us today. Just going to prove that this is on legend. And that is that. And the grand final is underway. Darcy Cameron out the middle, doesn't get it. Booth Ellie gets the smother down. Out the middle. The Cullen Blues are running. Booth Ellie needs to lay a chase. Tries to get it. Booth Ellie gets... JPK catches him. Cruiser gets the handball away. Hannabury over to JPK. Booth Ellie through the middle ground. Takes on a bounce. Gets it to... I don't know who. I think that's Darcy Cameron. Or Melican or something. Hannabury out the middle. Hannabury can go out wide to Booth Ellie. Booth Ellie over the top to Franklin. Franklin beats court. Dean Towers down there. Booth Ellie, Dean Towers injured as well, that's going to be even better for us. Hannabury gets caught. Good contest so far, throwing the ball, Paddy Cripps. And Lance Franklin gets the first through some bullshit. George Hewitt comes on into the forward line as Franklin kicks for the game. One of the other, Booth Ellie goes out wide to Franklin. Why is Franklin in the back line? Don't know why, Booth Ellie's trying to evade traffic here. Does very well, gets it back a little Booth Ellie. Hannabury turns on the Jets, kicks it long. Kicks it short. Neville Jett, a beautiful mark down the defence. Tip it. Booth Ellie's down there. He's going to get there first. Off the floor. Hits the post. Tackles him down. Darcy Cameron has the ball in his hands. Hambles over to Franklin. Franklin swings around and kicks the second. <coughs> Brooke hasn't got a touch on the game yet. Haney. Brooke. Brooke Haney. Haney kicks a goal. That's three in a row for Sydney. Booth Ellie's around the football. Has I don't know who over the top. Is that Rowan? It is Rowan. Rowan high tackle. Booth Ellie. Booth Ellie. Goes to Banana. He's missed it. Booth Ellie went on to win the Premiership himself with the Saints. Gibbs kicks long and he's got a goal. It's only a 15 point margin here. Still plenty of time for Colton to come back. Only the first quarter. Sinclair out of the middle. Booth Ellie King. Let's go bang inside though. Look at that. Good contest. Pushing the back. Jeremy Layla. Booth Ellie turns on the Jets. He's got plenty of time and space. He sees nothing ahead of him. He just bangs it along to the top of the goal square. Kurt Tippett. Back out to a 21 point margin. Layla got the handball over the back. Booth can go back to Layla and they can make it out to a 27 point margin. Brooke finally gets a handball on it. Brooke turns on the Jets, the captain, they need a captain's goal. Newman's down there, and Brooke kicks the first of the second. There's still time, 22 points of margin now. Brooke goes inside to Levi. No, he goes to Bryce Gibbs. Bryce Gibbs just needs to go back and kick the goal. 
But they down on the line. It's a goal though. Score of you, maybe no. It's a goal. Gibbs can go long again. Good punch by Newman, I think it was. Off the ground, Boothelli's here. He's been caught by Cripps. I mean, Gibbs. JBK throws the ball again. It's not netball, you little bitch. Cruiser. He goes in short. Good spoil. The Blues around the football, pushing the back. Nick Newman. Sanderson, I think this is. They can kick three in a row. Yep, Liam Sanderson kicks it with his first touch in the game. Armfield gets a handle, good interception, throwing the ball, Nick Newman. What is Nick Newman doing? It is back to a four point game. No, yes, a four point game. Colton have kicked the first four of the second. The Swans are choking. He gets absolutely sidesteps into the tackle there. Camp, oh, Franklin kicks long, and either settles the ship back to a 10 point margin. They needed that one. Boothelli has the sit. Sinclair to Boothelli. Boothelli can make it out to an 18 point margin here, and he does exactly that. The 22 touches, the 10 contested possessions, the 11 tackles, and the one goal, too. Boothelli only the six touches that quarter, ladies and gentlemen. And that's when Carlton got a bit of uncertainty. 7 6. They could have had 13 goals already, though. But they've been a bit wayward with their kicking. And Carlton have been very straight. They're taking their chances. Cameron out the middle. Boothelli tries to get it going. He does get it going. He goes long. He goes long. He goes long. And it's been drifted. And he's missed. Boothelli can go over the top to Dean Towers, I think. Yep, they're going to get one. Tip it off the floor. Kicks a second with the seventh touch. Back to a 25 point margin. They've got the last six scores. The Oh, Booth Ebley. Bang. Goes out wide to Dean Towers. Dean Towers in short to Booth Ebley. Don't tell me they're going to run away with it. Don't tell me they're going to run away with it now. The, the Premiership quarter. Booth Ebley kicks his second. The two goals, three. The 26 touches already. He's got the four this quarter already. Franklin. To Booth Ebley, can they stroll in, can they stroll in and kick an easy dribble kick? What's going on with Colton Blues now? 28, 20, um, 38 points of margin. But that is just in the hole. Booth gets the intercept mark. No one's around him. This is, this is where he does his best football. Lewis Melican. Booth Ellie gets scared, throws it over the back to Lewis Melican. Paddy Cripps has time and space, they go out wide though, why? A varnish, no, maybe, no, yes. Booth Ellie's going to get the varnish, stroll in and he'll kick his, no he won't kick his fourth, that's a horrible kick. Booth Ellie gets the handball over the top to Tippett, and Tippett goals. They've ran away in this quarter, ladies and gentlemen. 44 points of margin. Booth is back on the field for the last quarter. 37 point margin. Into Franklin. And Franklin's gone goals. He's just kicked a goal and he's put their chances away. They go into Franklin. Franklin's turning on, turning it on now. Franklin kicks another, that's his fifth, is it? It is. Bumps loose. Casbolt has time and space. Booth Ellie lays the chase. High tackle Jake Lloyd. No advantage. Carlton will get a consolation prize. For their good effort. There's, it's not in the game. 43 point margin. They got it within 4 points though. That's what frustrates me the most. Out the middle. The Carlton Blues are trying to get some momentum. Booth Ellie was just jogging beside him. Turns on the Jets. He's like, you're not getting away from me. Is that Neville Jetta or Philo? Philo gets another. It's back to a 37 point margin. Boothelli is cooked. He wants to stay on the ground. Batty Cripps gets it. Carlton have the most of their opportunities in this quarter. They go long to make it a 29 point margin. Straight through the middle. 29 point margin. The last five scores. Carlton Blues. Boothelli just gets the handle forward. 
He's cooked, ladies and gentlemen. He doesn't want to do much more for the team. Florin to Franklin. Franklin's been pushed in the back, and that's the end of the game for sure this time. Franklin kicks it. That's his sixth. Booth Lee, lit Kaz Bolt trying to get a consolation one back straight away. Gets the goal. Back to a 29 point margin. APK goes out wide to Parker. Parker into Booth Debley. A captain's goal to finally settle the scores and to win his second premiership in a row, maybe. He's finally settled the game. He kicks it. His fourth goal. He's got four behinds of 41 touches, so 14 says, possessions and the 15 tackles. While sustaining an injury throughout the third quarter, 35 point the margin. Booth Deli off the back line again, this bangs it inside to Dean Town's direction. Dean Towns gets outbodied like an absolute little kid. Booth Deli, beautiful mark. 99 marking, ladies and gentlemen. Just get it on good. You've got the game. Booth Ali for his fifth. Yep. He's kicked the five and the 45 touches in the grand final. Beautiful effort. And he's fatigued. We will simulate the rest of the match as the Swans are premiers. The Swans are premiers. Boothelli did absolutely outstanding. That's his back to back. Look at that beautiful. Press any button, I'll press circle. Thank you very much. A huge margin in the end 17 13 to 10 8. Boothelli with the fifth, 45 and the 5. Non stiff medal. Boothelli gets it. That's his second in a row. They, they, the Colton Blues did well up to half time and they just lost the pace. They got it back within 29 points late in the last and then they nearly lose by 60. I don't understand them. They're too inconsistent. Play four quarters of football and you get it. We get to upgrade again. You get to see his stats. Look at that. There's, there isn't much left to upgrade, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get his tag into 99. We will get his specky to 99. We will get probably both Ebley to 99 as a whole. His reactions will go to 99. And that's all that we can do. So that's his stats, ladies and gentlemen. For us contracts, what's going on in the good old world and everything like that. We have won the Toyota AFL Premiership season. Thank you very much. That's two on a row now. What a final series. No team was really a match for us. They need to build a super team around us. Booth Ebley. Absolutely killed it. Dan Hanabry gets best and fairest though. Fair enough. Look at that 88 win percentage. That's just crazy. Okie dokie. Those are our offers. Those are our offers, ladies and gentlemen, to show you the money as well. Where should we go? We're going to look at the worst ladder position. Oh, Geelong Cats finish 18th. That is scary. Dangerfield, Selwood and Bruthelli in the middle of the ground. But until 2025, see, that's what you don't want. You don't want to be there for ages. You don't want to be there for ages. So it could be the Giants, because that's a one year deal. Or we could be going... Could be going back to Essendon, but that's a two year deal. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give a like. Subscribe if you want more. I'm out now. Comment what team you want me to go to. Peace.